I think some of the biggest things we see in the fire service is the firefighter, the stereotypical firefighter that walks around with dirty gear and a dirty helmet to kind of show his bravado, what a seasoned veteran he might be no matter how many years he's got on the job. Let me tell you, all that is bull crap and it's out the door when you sit in a doctor's office and diagnosed with cancer. None of that means anything. The day before I had a procedure done where the doctors took some samples out of the uh, suspected area and sure enough they called me back the next morning about 10.30 and uh, advised me that uh, sure enough the samples came back positive for cancer. Cancer is devastating. Getting diagnosed with cancer is, is devastating is the only word I can use to describe it. We have helped hundreds of firefighters across the country that have been diagnosed with cancer. And the first thing they tell us is they're scared and they don't know what to do because the fear of the unknown is at the forefront of their mind. Not to mention the long-term illnesses, the surgeries, the treatments that are, are likely going to cause them a lot of pain and suffering. I mean, he went downhill so fast where he wasn't talking anymore, he wasn't eating anymore, um, he couldn't move by himself. I don't even know how much he knew was going on. Um, and the six weeks that they gave us turned into six days. So in the fire service, we might be exposed to carcinogens in the smoke from fires to which we are responding. Uh, some of the materials in smoke are known, possible, and in some cases probable carcinogens. Fire doesn't care whether you work for a volunteer organization or a paid department. Cancer doesn't discriminate. Cancer's cancer. You know, it's easy to fall into the, it's not going to be me, um, but statistics show that it probably will be, and it, you know, could be, or if it's not you, it's going to be somebody you know. It's critical for firefighters to understand that they can be a champion of their own health. Oftentimes we'll go to firehouses and see a whole rack of turnouts that are filthy dirty from a fire they may have had two or three weeks ago because it's a badge of courage. It's this perception that the dirtier your turnouts are, the more melted your helmet is, that somehow that makes you a better firefighter. And we're here to tell you that's absolutely wrong. And that's what's killing us.